Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Reality Check. My name is Spooner. We're joined by... Keegan. Schwan. The Irish Bull. Now, this is going to be a very juicy podcast, so stay tuned. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Do all them good things there, and let's get started. So, what is it you do? Um, there's a few things I do. So, I'm an award-winning international porn star. I'm a content creator. I'm a swinger. I'm a stripper. I'm an escort. Wow. To sum it all up, I'm a sex worker, because that covers up. That's so basically, I'm a sex so. worker. That yeah, covers yeah. up. Okay. I'm a horny bass, I tell, on the side, <laughs> on the weekends. <laughs> what's the what's the wildest thing you do, would you say? I don't know. Your version of wild could be very timid to mine, like, describe wildly. I don't know. The swinging sounds pretty crazy. Well, I, I've never actually been to a swingers club. I don't know. I've seen some mad things there, like... I don't know, like, what, what wild? It's just, it's normal to me, like, <laughs> like, women open, like, there's this girl that will go there, her husband, and she will get strapped up, and then he'll sit there waiting, and he hand out, who's next? They hand out the condoms, and they come in, and they just smash away. I'm fucking in the queue twice. <laughs> <laughs> I think she'd remember you, mate, if you yeah. came twice. What country is that in? Is that in England? Yeah, yeah it's in Manchester. Yeah. Yeah. And how do you get involved in these sort of circles and these sort of clubs and that? Um, there's a good swinging site called Fab Swingers. Like if you get on that, and then do some like meets, and then like get like a good name for yourself on the site, you can get invited to them. You know what I mean? Like I worked in some of them. I do naked butlers. Like yeah. Them, yeah. So I just fucking walk around serving drinks, flip flops, and a smile. I always take a Viagra for I go on though. Yeah. Leave yeah. a flop and then. But then even to work, the husband's coming up. Oh, can you come fuck me wife? Or the women's are like, oh fuck me after like. But um, yeah. So you. Have fucked a lot of people's wives. Yeah, <laughs> love them there. Yeah, think so, yeah. Don't you feel a bit awkward when you're doing that? No, like, it's already now. making your homie jag at me. That's how I don't feel awkward. <laughs> even in the, like, even with the porn I do, some like, content creators, their husbands would hold the camera, and I'm like, I, I, we'd shoot like, you know what I mean? Cuckoo. A cook of like own, like say you're recording for only fans. Like, say I'm meeting this girl, she's married, and then I go to her house, and there could be her husband there, and he'll record. Which is have, like, have you ever done it like you say you don't feel awkward in that but have you ever had a go and then you've been there you smash someone's wife and you've looked over and it looks like he, he looks like he's made a mistake he feel, looks like he's regretting the whole process or I don't know it hadn't happened to me but like I had my phone so that's all that matters <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now I've had like the, I had a fella before where um, I had to tie him up to the chair with a scarf and then like say this was a chair like that chair tied him to it I'll never forget the scarf it was Half Shamrock, <laughs> half Shamrock Rovers, and half Real Madrid. Like they were playing each other, and I had to tie him to the back, and then I just like fucking lumped his wife over, like for like ages in front of him. And she'd be screaming at him, "Oh, you like that, you little bitch!" And all, and he's like, "Yeah, oh, yeah, God. yeah." And he's tied up. Just he's tied up it. just like Big that. Smile on his face. Smiling and <laughs> on a heart, like, no yeah. chastity device. But sometimes the swinging, they, they then they join in, like. But in that specific case, he didn't. He just watched, and then um. I brought her upstairs and he just sat downstairs and listened to the floorboards. That was his thing that he liked. <laughs> listened to the bed rocking. What would you say the, the, <laughs> the biggest, like, the strangest fetish to you that you've had to deal with or request that you've had? Oh, so there's a girl I know that likes fucking pain, like severe pain, but um, do you know the cactus plants? That's, oh, that prick you. Yeah, well, yeah. she wanted to stick that somewhere where something's fucking go. <laughs> I couldn't do it. Well, that was that. She the, wanted... That like a cactus used as a dildo, means... bro. That's the sort of thing where it's so like, dangerous. That that that's not just going to be you and her in the room after. Like you're going to have to get an ambulance and that round. You start doing shit like that, and you know. Has I... she done that before? Then I don't know. Like it's just that's what she asked me today, and I couldn't do. Like obviously, when it was licked out, I could have plucked a few out of my teeth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I just uh, that that to me was the weirdest thing. But yeah, that I yeah, couldn't that's, do. It. That's pretty heavy, mate. I'm not. I've never lie. heard that one before. Oh, I couldn't heavy. imagine. Like how that could be pleasurable. Yeah, no, nah, she needs she needs locking up, mate, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> she needs, oh, she needs pain is pleasure for some people. What is um pain is pleasure like for some people, isn't it? That's oh. what you say about your Irish, don't you? <laughs> I don't know, mate. I definitely don't have pain as pleasure. No, but a lot of people like some like like spanking things, you know, people like like the extreme, like you know what I mean? So there's some people pain is pleasure, like but that's yeah, the worst. I couldn't there, do it. What's your weirdest fetish? My biggest fetish is so if I was with a girl, which I have been before in the past, my biggest fetish is watching her get fucked by other men. Yeah, you, yeah, you, so you fully understand of that. Yeah. 
Really? Yeah. I, t- I told you this. But I join in or whatever, but whatever, like, yeah. You like watching it? Because well, she's getting the maximum amount of pleasure. That's what, that's what my, my, like when I'm having sex on the dom, I had to give pleasure. I can't leave unless I know the girl had the best time of her life. That's a, maybe it's a bit of ego thing. Yeah, that's what I do. Knowing you're hung like that, bro, you're not gonna see a lot of more man. Yeah, that's obviously the ego like thing. Because yeah, exactly. when the little boys Let come him in, have a go and yeah. have, get out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> and then she jumps back on me anyway. Talking about that, uh, what are you? Uh, what are you known for? There's apparently something that uh, you have that not many guys have. I have a massive dick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming in at 10 inches, just over 10 inches. 10, 10 inches? 10, just <laughs> over 10, nearly 10 and a half. It's in between there. All right, listen. So I, wanna, I wanted to know, so is it too big? In some cases, yeah, like I've, oh Jesus, was a girl before. I don't know how I clicked her. <laughs> clicked her in town. Um, this was in Dublin and she was like amazingly beautiful. Anyway, kissing her against the wall. She drops down. She's like, whoa. She was like, I'm oh, sorry, I'm not fucking you. I can't fuck you. Because she said I would have hurt her. So in that case, I was too big. You know what I mean? Anal doesn't really happen. You know what I mean? For me, it's... Girls don't like you. You know what I mean? So is it like a pre-warning you have to give girls if you're picking them Obviously, up? Obviously, like, they love it. Like, but like, like, some, like, you might not know until you're wedging it in. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. I was, I don't know. Little D, it was me, Little D, Declan Ryan, where we I'm not going to say the girl because, but I don't say her her. And I fucked her that hard. I dislodged her coil. And the blood was out. Like her coil, like dislodged it. Yeah, it was yeah. fucking up in her stomach or something. Oh. Um, so it's 10 and a half and inches in length. But what about, is it fat or is it long? Like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Because, no, because obviously what 10 and a half look? inches, what people. No, nah, mate. <laughs> no. <laughs> people, people can't take that sort of depth, can they? Do you know what I mean? It's just... So most girls are fair width and length. Mine is very fat. It's not as fat <laughs> as I'd like, but yeah, it's, it's like it's. Sure not. You struggle to get your hand around it. Like what? That. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Not, not the top end. <laughs> Basically, when I stick it in a Pringles tin, it comes out your other end on a horn. <laughs> Doesn't smell like get, prime get, cocktail. Get the, get the, get the Pringles. Yeah, but I'm not fully hard. Like you're telling me, yeah. Get me that. <laughs> get a Pringles. Give me it. Give me it. You're telling me your dick comes. See come that out. when I when I'm on a full hard and I push that in tight. Obviously, when I'm pushing it in tight, it's taking it a little bit. But it will actually you'll get the tip out of the end. I got nothing to say. Empty mate. the Pringles cam right no. now. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, <laughs> not fucking, hard though. Look, I'm not gonna get hell. hard. He keep rubbing my leg, and what, I'm weak. Can I just ask, <laughs> what was you up to when you uh, discovered the Pringles tin? It was, it was the same length. I just thought I measured it beside it, and I was like, they were like, yeah, yeah. And then we took the back out with the metal thing. And then... <laughs> get the scissors. <laughs> get a Viagra and the scissors. So only one time it's been too big. No, well, just all that kind of like with girls, like, it's like, say you're fucking them, and they're like, oh, I have to stop. It's starting to be sore like you know what i mean so you have to stop yeah when you i couldn't get there's been a lot of times yeah that i would have to stop our girls are like no or or like just it's sore like, yeah well, is there any soft. positions that you struggle with <coughs> that, you, that they don't like doing with doggy your... yeah doggy just be flossing their back teeth it does <laughs> <laughs> oh wait so when when you you emphasized when with girls do you do stuff with guys as well I'm straight personally, but like, well, only fans I do like these wank circles or whatever. Like, I'll, look, I'll let a lad wank me off for the video, stuff like that. I'm not, it's just easy money, you know what I mean? How does All that my work? fans are gay males. There's not girls, women, my, women my age don't buy porn. If they want sex, it's called Tinder. Yeah, yeah. A woman can walk out there now and get the first man in the road and say, let's have sex. And he will. You ask the first girl now, you're going to jail. You're getting <laughs> yeah. a slap. You're going to jail. Women have it easy. They don't buy porn. It's men that buy porn. We're the sleazes. Yeah, we yeah. all look at it. all is a great straight away. Yeah, no, it's true, bro. It's true. And that's it. So it's men, and obviously no straight men are gonna fancy me. It's gay men. So I did. I attract the gay audience. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm a trisexual. Try out twice. A what? A trisexual. I'll try anything twice. Twice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you told me something. Uh, told me something interesting that you you're doing. Um, was it after this? You are going? Oh yeah, me and Reg, and it's, I'm showing with a trans girl. So, have you ever done anything with uh, a trans person? Done the same before, yeah. Some of no, these trans girls are amazing. You've seen, you've seen, I showed you, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. yeah Sean's, Sean's Sean's girl I was everywhere. Uh, I was very um, shocked at, as to how attractive she was. Pretending uh, you were shocked, yeah. 
I fucking hate yeah. they're everywhere. Like. But my question is, um, what is the difference? Like, because obviously, I've always wondered how do there's about the difference is they have a dick. <laughs> big, oh, so she's sometimes not, a big dick so it's a big difference but sometimes only a little dick so it's, a, it's, only, a, it's only a little difference oh, so, so put it's that not, thing away you flick <laughs> give it a little flick come here you <laughs> <laughs> I remember them days when I was six <laughs> right. so it's not post up uh, some of them have I think this one has the post up I don't know I didn't ask like, I just seen her tits and I was like yeah I'll show it she's, 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 no, she's beautiful like well, some of them have like the post up. I've never the one I did before. She had a dick, but she didn't take it out. She was just in lingerie, and she just sucked me off for a video. Like you know what I mean? Because they have a massive following. Like most of them. Like uh, Swan's like, wait, you can do that? <laughs> <laughs> interesting. No, I, do, I I find it really interesting because I want to know after the post op, how do they come? Because yeah, they cut that dick. That's a good question. I don't know. Like, do you come like layer. a guy or do you come like? Like, you can't come like a girl, can you? Because the willy it's, goes inside it, you, right? Well, yeah, I would hope so. Oh, yeah. I think we need someone trans to ask this yeah. question, bro. Yeah, this is what I, I want, I've, I've wanted to know for a long time. Let us this know if we should get a trans That's another one on, on, on show. Monday, but you'd never tell. Comment below. That's Monday. Bro, if that is a girl. What? we got to send the photo. We'll put it in. That's yeah. not today. That's like this is this is tomorrow. We'll that's put the photo girl. here. Yeah. Oh, you got. <laughs> that's another trans. Is you it? got a message on Grinder. Oh, did I? Yeah. I'll tell you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'll just send me your man's number. Yeah. Uh, so, no, my Snapchat. Yeah, do you yeah, have so. like any boundaries with your content? Like anything that you wouldn't do? Yeah. Look, I don't do like. Look, I don't. I don't do gay porn. Like I don't do gay sex scenes or anything like that. Like so, they're like wank together in circles, stuff like that. But I would never like. I wouldn't fuck a man or get fucked. So, we mainly. Mainly do straight porn, but unfortunately, it's, there's not much money in the straight porn in the UK industry, you know what I mean? If all your fans are gay and they want gay kind of videos, that's what you have to give them, you know? Would you never do that? No. Nah, I don't think I could. I think a lot of the gay community as well, they hate when someone's fake gay. Oh, no, um, when a gay man does straight like, porn, but when know, a straight probably, guy They're does probably going to attack me now for that. Yeah. Yeah, well, go find the fella that has a dick as big as mine, yeah, and wank to him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See how many only fans, mate. No, the only fans is gone. I got the, I went to I won a porn awards last month, and the next day, the only fans got me. account was under review. Got massive amount of reports, like fake reports, people reporting. So the jealous. It's obviously working. I have some haters, which is good. But tax someone's money is a nightmare. You know what I mean? Cause that's what I mean, it was one of my main sources of income. But to make up lawyers, like it's just not a tax. They removed your only fans. It's on account, and then I under. Terms and conditions that got deleted, but whatever, like the show goes on, you know what I mean. I have other ways to sell me videos. So what? What were you? What are you selling videos on now? I have many vids, and then I've, I've like I'm on Pornhub, X Hamsters, good, just for fans, admire me. Oh, everything. I'm everything. on everything. That's it. So Sex sales I always win. So what do you do? You mostly do solo stuff, or uh, do you do collaborations? Just collab. I mainly collab. I work for a lot of porn companies now. Since I won that award of. I'm working, I'm not going to say the company, but I've done like six scenes of them in the last month. And I have one on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Oh, really? So what, what would be like, what was your favorite collaboration you've done? Um, One with six girls. Six <laughs> girls? Yeah. And what, what would be your most desired collaboration? Like an individual? Let's make it happen right now. Like what girl? Yeah. I don't know, probably Ava Austin. Ava Austin. I only seen her yesterday as well. I wasn't showing where she's beautiful. Ava, Ava Austin. Ava Austin, if you're watching this, um, he he will floss the back of your teeth. <laughs> oh. Irish bull style. What Ten and a half inches. Look, so look, look. <laughs> <laughs> just rest it on his knee for the rest no, of the show. Mate. Bro. So we've got um six girls, you saying. So how does that work? Because there's oh, I mean, you're in the middle. You're doing this. You're licking that. You're fucking all. <laughs> it's like a J story, bro. But he actually lives it. <laughs> now, how many girls do you reckon you've slept with then? I think I'm closer to two thousand than I am to one. I now at the minute two thousand. Yeah. Fucking hell, mate. That's... How do you feel like the? Do you feel like it's affected your personal sex life, or do? You... Oh, bro. I don't know. Like I just. I only say, I only get sex like so when I have sex it's just to make the girl come it's to give her the best pleasure ever yeah, yeah. even if I don't enjoy it I will do it just to make sure it's just to build my ego you know what I mean it's just 
it's just weird like you know what i mean so you're saying that you don't really enjoy sex that much like you more you're more I do enjoy it like like i enjoy it like when it happens but like it's when i'm doing it it's mainly like to build my ego you know what i mean yeah, yeah. just the scared women talk don't they yeah i think when you have sex a lot it just becomes like yeah but i wank a lot i'd have five wanks a day even if i shot for them sometimes i have two before i get out of bed two two wanks before i go out of bed yeah, yeah so, so do i bro <laughs> <laughs> I don't wank so. you're not wank uh, you're not wank I think it's bad no, for you feel, it's not, how is it bad for you it's great for you yeah. it's actually healthy I used to wank so I'd wank to the point when, I'm, when it's literally dripping out and then I'd stop I'd cut myself off <laughs> and I found that as training <laughs> for when I fuck because sometimes I fuck if bored for two and a half hours on camera non-stop and I'm working for like a film like it could be over, done over two hours but it'd be like like 20 minutes fucking hardcore doggy have you ever done that it's fucking hard like this guy, this guy locks him in a room for eighteen hours and puts him. In the yeah, that's, so not, that's not natural sex, though, is it? Do you know yeah. what I mean? If you that's... wang to the point where you're just about to come and stop, and if you can do that, you will. You could. You can shag for days. Maybe that's why the trainers have. I, I don't, don't want to shag for days, though. Why? This guy. Does. Yeah, but then you're a selfish. He, what you are is a selfish man. That's just a selfish man. Yeah, yeah. He, he just, just wants, wants to. You buy them what they want, get them on this, and then get them home, and then you're fucked until he come and you roll over and go to sleep. You're a prick. <laughs> yeah, you're, a, you're prick. a prick. You need to make her come, mate. It's not all about she's you. She's gonna come, mate. I don't she's need two not days come. to she make her co come. You don't need two days. She's not gonna come. Oh, but you make her come over and over. What if you were over excited and you came and in within ten seconds, like, and she didn't come? Yeah, well, I'm yeah. not gonna come in ten seconds. That's not. Uh... Well, not ten seconds. You know what I mean? Fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, mate. Do you want a beer? Um, we're sponsored by Desperados. Yeah. Well, I'll have one. Yeah. Nah, I'm sweet, mate. What's Thank um, you. who's the most famous person that you've had sex with? Oh my god, look at the fly in me drink. It's protein, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Eat it then. No, <laughs> <laughs> he's at worst in his mouth. Okay, mate. Yeah. I think I will lay <laughs> <laughs> home, look. So, I'm home. Oh, no. It's like a stamp. So, would, <laughs> would, would you would you suck off uh, this? No, Jesus Christ! No, I just said that. No way. <laughs> Fuck that. It's gonna say that. Didn't flight, finish the that, sentence. That flight might come back out, bro. The the, the trans girl. She ever like said? Come on, let me put. How my... far could it go with the trans girl? I'm not gonna go for it. She's just gonna. I'm just gonna face fuck her until I come, like, and that'll be it, and she'll be happy. What about so like? Can't. <laughs> Don't know. Pants, what pair what of films she's wearing? What if you see the balls <laughs> hanging out and like flinging about? Did oh. that put you off or no? I don't know whether to flick them or like caress them. What would you <laughs> flick them? <laughs> no, it's not. She's been lingerie. It's not. That's the scenes around. It's just. It's just a blowjob scene. Like you know what I mean? It's just a blowjob. It's work. So like this is it. You're going there just to get a blowjob. I'm going. It's um and to film obviously. Yeah, with Schwan. <laughs> yeah. I'm not coming with that Pringles can over there, mate. <laughs> we had the small one up there. You can use that. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, have you had sex with anyone famous? Yeah, well, a lot of famous porn stars in England. Like, describe famous, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, what's who's the most famous porn star you've... I don't know, like, Ava Austin's pretty famous. Sienna Day. Emily. Emily, I've heard Emily, that. Emily, Lacey Star, like, um, Lacey Amour. I don't know if you've heard. Them. I don't watch porn. You guys tell me. Do you know anyone? Yeah, when you just no, watch porn, so if you, if you shit, watch mate, porn, it's going to be like probably American porn like with a mega porn stars. Out. It's not going to, why not always be the English porn? You know what I mean? Emma Butt. She's English, right? I don't know who that is. That's the only British porn star that I know. Sophie Anderson. Sophie Anderson. I never shot with her. I, 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 I've met her before. I never shot with her. Lolly Barcott used to be, used to be a big one in the day. I used to be a big one. My favourite porn stars are all American, like Havana Ginger and Bleeding. Lana Rhodes? Yeah, but that's what that one's too obvious, bro. That one's just like. She couldn't take 10 and a half inches, mate. Bro, you clearly haven't seen her videos. <laughs> she's she's taking 10 of them at the same time, mate. Yeah, it's fucking <laughs> wild. <laughs> so, um, you've had girls like just tap out and be like, I can't do it anymore. In the past, like, what's well, starting to hurt now? Like, so, like, obviously, you stop. Like, what do you say to that? And then what do you do, like, when she says that, you haven't come, and you're, like, there, going... Like, oh, suck me off, I guess, or something. And she just does that for the rest of well, the... Well, no, she's not, like, in that case, like, if that... It's, if you said stop, like, I'll just stop or whatever, but, like, that's... Like, you said, has it ever been too big? In that case, it was, like, you know? Yeah. This this is what this is what I find funny, is he's, like, 
I don't understand her because you haven't finished and you must finish as that is the most important part. No, no, no. But I'm just saying, if I'm having sex with a girl and she's saying, oh, it hurts now. Yeah. Does that happen? You're there still going to be horny. We, we, you're going to be sat there like, that's all you're going to think oh, you about. you just get it's a wank. Yeah, 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 one of your five a day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, Luke. When you're on about five a day, you ain't talking about apples, are you? <laughs> <laughs> so um, I want to know something else, like super interesting that you've been through. And um, uh, I think a lot of people will find it interesting. So uh, tell us about the time that you went to jail, what happened, um, like as much information as you can give without... Um, I've been in now trouble since a young age, like since I think I came to the attention of the police when I was like 13 years old and then I robbed car. Um, and then ever since that, like I was 14 and there was a robbed car and the policeman got like hit, like knocked down or whatever. Anyway, long story short, like I went, I like 15 years old, so I went to jail for that, for, like, like a year or something. I got banned from driving for 40 years. 40 40 years. Because the maximum for the the maximum ban for a juvenile at the time was four zero. Forty. And then I got it. The judge actually said, Mr. McNally, the next time you're driving, cars will be flying. <laughs> <laughs> and I was obviously young, wild, and I said, Yeah, well tell the fucking policeman to duck instead of jump. <laughs> <laughs> so you were 14? At the time, and then I don't think and then I sentenced to 15. Yeah, and then I was in and out, like, just stupid things, like, nine months here, like, just for, like, like, joyriding and, like, fighting, like, robbing gaffs, like, just kids being kids, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know, I didn't rob gaffs <laughs> when I was a kid. <laughs> this, well, this is, you didn't grow up in Dublin, mate, you know what I mean? So it was oh, that's different. how I grew up. You robbed gaffs? If you're that was six year mate and you're a kid and one of them jumps into a gaff, you're not, you're, not, you're going in with the rest of them. I don't know, mate. I'll probably be the sensible one. <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh, yeah. okay so what's the craziest thing but you've I, been arrested for anyway I got so I was in a um, I got caught with drugs a lot of drugs and there was some firearms there some clips of uh, like a gun stuff like this and I got 10 years with three suspended when I was 19 I was, yeah, I was uh-huh. 19 and then I done what does so that mean? Ten years with, with three? three suspended, so three out of ten is seven. So I got seven, and then with, with so yeah, that's that's uh, that's ten with good behaviour. You get seven. Oh, you get so in in Ireland when you get so if you get two years, you'll you'll do you get a week off every month. It's called remission. So you get a year, you'll do nine months. You get six months, you do four and a half. If you get two years, you do eighteen months. You know what I mean? So yeah, I think I got out after like five and a half years. Me. My board at the time was seven and a half months pregnant. And when I got out, my son was like four and a half, five or something. So whatever that time was. Wow. That must have been tough. Yeah. What can you do? Like? Would and, you... and then coming out of that, I mean, what was your steps after that? You come out at what sort of age? And then what were you? What were your so moves? I come out at 22, 23. Um, I got into barbering. I've done cutting hair in prison, but then I went and done like a, a barber's course. I was still like, I was still like grafting in between, you know what I mean, to keep myself going, like, but nothing too heavy. Because I had my son then, like he wasn't around before I was, I was involved in some nasty shit when I was young, like horrible. Um, and I just got out, I got my shit together and then um, I got into barbering, just get, just, I just moved to England then with my son, like I'm a single parent, my son's 15 now, he's fucking bigger than me. So I, moved, I just moved them over here. I feel this bad opportunities over there. I just, if I live in Ireland, my hand's in some pot. I'm with me mates. I'm doing something wrong. You know what I mean? I, like my whole life, I'm doing something wrong over there. My whole life, and I always will be. So if I ever went back to jail, my son's getting, going to be raised by a clown. Like, you know what I mean? So I just took him away. Took Just gave up everything and moved over here. Yeah, um, so you, had, you think Dublin wasn't like, like the right environment for you to be in? Nah, Dublin, like I haven't like things Dublin. Dublin's a, obviously it's a nice spot, cultural, this, that and the other, but it's just for me, there was just not what I hoped and the other. Yeah, when you're growing up involved the wrong way. in it all, mate, it's hard, yeah, it's hard obviously. to take a step back. All it's your still, friends are the same, mates, you know what I mean? So yeah, so yeah, it's just that's, for a better life for your kid, I guess, yeah. That's, that's why for me, like, I'm still like, I still know the people I grew up with and I'm still like, you know, acquainted with them. If they message me or if I see them, it's all good. But I don't chill with them. 
because like the life they have or haven't really stepped away from, I don't want to be in that because yeah. I'm building something else. And yeah. it's like, you you can't surround yourself. Although if you surround yourself with those people, you become those people. If you're if you don't take drugs and you're hanging around in a squat or a drug den, you're gonna end up taking something if you're there every single day chilling. Yeah. So it's the same if you're hanging around with criminals or people that are violent, you in turn sort of become one the, of them. It's like me ma used to say, show me our company and I'll tell you who you are. Yeah. yeah. Basically. So yeah. I just moved my son over here, I got him white, man, and yeah, I don't want them down. I don't have enough jail for me whole family. Like no one needs to go to jail, so did you, he doesn't um, need to do it. If you can say, did you have any like crazy moments in prison or scary times or crazy fights, anything? There's been a lot of incidents. Gee, when I was in jail, like fucking, there was no toilets in there, hell. We had shit in a bucket. What? What? Yeah, and we had shit in a bucket in Mount Joy Prison. There's no toilets. You have a bucket. Is that illegal? Like, it's, it's illegal now. They changed it, yo. And a lot of people that got money off it, but yeah, the one I first went over there, it was I was actually in a six man, and. You were in a what? A six man cell. So I went, I was in one bucket. I was in St. Patrick's prison and then I, I wanted to go over to Mount Joy. There was a fucking, I went on a dirty protest, which is like, I was basically, this is, I went on a, I wanted to go over to a different prison so I couldn't get over there. Um, so I, I protested about it, dirty protest. <laughs> and then I went, got transferred over there. And they had, there was no toilets in the cell. They were like, yeah, here's a bucket. But I had a lot of friends in there and family, so I didn't mind it, you know what I mean? But I was in a six-man for the first fucking day at hell and one bucket. And the next day, I was like, to the, this time I went down to the governor, I need to get off there, I need to get off there. And he's like, nah, nah, there's no other cells. And so I intentionally you... picked a fight with one of them in the six-man. You had a fight with so I intentionally you. picked it. I said, like, said the governor, he goes, you're not, you're not staying in that cell. I said, am I, yeah. I went straight down and picked the fight with the fucking force while I was going to in. Boom. What did and you do? What, hit him? Just punched him? I broke his fucking nose. <laughs> and then went straight to the block for two days and then come up but wasn't allowed back in a cell. And so I got onto my cousin's floor that was on a different wing. I was staying on the floor. Cockroaches there are big. Jesus Christ. The cockroaches are so big in Mount Joy Prison. And anyone in there they will know. They used to chase the mice. <laughs> <laughs> they used to chase the fucking mice. That's how big they were. No, but, um, I, don't, I don't do bugs, bro. I would be bugging. Oh, out. then you would have loved this place. Bugs are fucking shitting in a bucket. No, I can see. used to like the bucket. It didn't mind me. I didn't I mind don't... after a while. When I had a single cell, it was grand. It was clean. Because you can see the toilets. Oh, yeah. In the I mean? six man cell, who cleans the bucket? The doors used to open about 10 past two. I'd get on the bucket about nine minutes past. Right at the front of the door, sitting on the bucket there. Who you know, cleans the, the bucket, though, in a six man just... cell? How does that work? <sighs> would you clean it after you use it? Would you do like. Everyone's meant to get their own bucket, but at the time there was a shortage of buckets, so there was one bucket there. You know what I mean? <laughs> Shortage of buckets. The yeah. cockroaches <laughs> ran off of all of them. <laughs> yeah. Wearing them as hats, mate. It's disgusting <laughs> it is. And then every time you kick off, like you know, it's, like the screw is getting smart, but like the bucket just goes straight over a, a prison officer. I never done it. Like, or if someone was fighting, they throw it over one of the fellas. Like, just the worst sloppy shit. Because when you shit in a bucket, it's a lump of shit. But when you piss in that bucket, it's like a slush puppy. <laughs> <laughs> and they used to get fucked over the scrolls and all it's disgusting so what was the craziest crime like you've heard in jail I don't know like obviously murder murder is a pretty pretty crazy one you know what I mean been in jail but like murders bank robbers fucking has there been any with this like mad like the circumstance so obviously there's loads of murderers in prison but like the guy ended up killing his neighbour by accident or like the guy found his wife sleeping with his brother and murdered his brother or something that's a bit out there that you haven't really heard of before. Nah, it's not really like that. It's, people are in there that's just like it's like drug wars, you know what I mean? Like yeah, that's yeah. mainly what it's killing. Like it's not really, that's something like you'd hear in an American jail or something. But <laughs> yeah. In Dublin, it's just like fucking. Is it really rough in Dublin? Yeah, well, I guess some parts are rough, like, you know what I mean? Everyone wants to make money. Dublin's a small place. There's a lot of people there. Is there, in so in them jails in Dublin, is there any, like, English people over there, or is it straight? I met loads in, loads of scousers there. Loads really? Scousers, scousers are everywhere. But yeah, it seems to be, like, this little transfer between Dublin and um, Liverpool, isn't it? I live like, in Liverpool. Yeah, yeah. We're well accepted there. We're very alike. I don't know, Liverpool lawyers are the same, but even in the, a lot of scousers, yeah, there are a few scousers I met there. A few Manchester people. When, um... When you're in prison, this is like an obvious question, yeah. Do you ever like, do you get horny in prison? Yeah. What do you do? Have a wank. 
So what I was like, say you're in a tail man, and we may always doubled up. He'll know about this. He'll have a fault. Like so, say there's the bump bed, and then he's on the bottom one. In my case, I was on the bottom. You had a towel. You put the towel under his mattress, which falls down. Will cover me. And then if I have like I have a phone, or if he had a phone, you don't have phone sex on the board. Like she's fucking with a boy, right? So here in the same cell, so like. <laughs> they just they always wang it over fucking yo. Just tell you. You finished. <laughs> <laughs> I need the phone, mate. Yeah. Oh, I didn't care, I'd wank anywhere. Like, you know what I mean? I was fucking up. Oh, for, Jesus Christ, I was naked most of the time in prison than I wasn't. So what you used a phone? As in you had a phone in there? Yeah, they what, all with yeah. like actual they've all got phones, bro. Well, you're not allowed to have phones. So I got caught with two phones and I got sent to the block each time. That's fifty nine days when in 23 hour lockdown with no telly or none. Radio. Each time. Do you know? Yeah. You get you go to basically isolation. For, isolation, yeah. For two months. 50 million days. And what would you, Fuck what's me. isolation? Look I like? used to do a thousand press ups a day when I went to block, believe it or not. What, yeah, so we got fuck all else to do. Yeah, what does isolation you know? look like? Five wanks as well. <laughs> <laughs> Only five, mate. If I was locked in a cell all day long, I'd be dry. <laughs> Yeah, it's a rough day. So, t- 23 hours of isolation, what do you do? Run. What can you do? Sleep. Do you not go a bit insane? Yeah. Must be Did tough. I say I was saying no? That's not, <laughs> that's, not, that's not really preparing them for when they come out, though, is it? It's just making them worse. It's just punishment. Nah, it's just standard was... punishment, isn't it? Like, now they're charging people, people are getting extra jail time. It wasn't like that when I was there. Like, it was a long time ago when I was there. Like, do you, I was fucking toilets. I don't know if this happens in obviously an all male prison. You're not mixed with women, but does the do the guards ever, you know, do anything sexual with the prisoners? Oh, I don't know. Like, just, I've never heard of a woman getting fucked in prison. Like one of the freedom, like by now, like some of the, the girls, like, they flirt a bit with you a bit. Now, I've heard of like when I got out, like like a prisoner who only recently got out was fucking that prison officer. You know what I mean? Like on the out, like never never in there, but that'll flirt like. Mm. most of them are just fucking fat ugly tench boards to be fair like <laughs> yeah. do you know what I mean big stout like it's blocky cunts but um, there is one I tell you that would be pretty but even like even the big ones I like because I was there for fucking years <laughs> you see, everyone, everyone becomes a bit more attractive and they're like they're fucking women <laughs> and anyway yeah that's the question like so obviously you must get you must be tough after all those years uh, no sex. Have you ever like thought about? Is there like a guy in there? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Would you um, ever just close your eyes and <laughs> Swan would <laughs> let it happen? It's not like that in there. It's not like listen. It's not like American jail. It's not like that in there. So no, is there not a lot of no no? Does a lot of not happen or no? Nah, you wouldn't even see any gays on the landing. Like they wouldn't last. Last like you know what I mean? You just get. No, you... no, no, hey, the guy is, but they'd probably more than likely just get attacked if they walked onto the yard or just they'd speak to someone for 10 minutes to figure it out. A lot of the lads in there wouldn't wouldn't be about that, you know what I mean? So, that, well, they so would... they'd get attacked, so you wouldn't see many of them up there. You wouldn't send them up, like, you know? Or would you say prison is corrupt? Like the guards and stuff, people getting paid off, whatever. Yeah, the, when I was in there, there was a few prison officers caught bringing them, not, obviously not for me or anything, but like for other people in there, but they were caught like, Bringing stuff in, like, yeah, so it will be corrupt, like. Because they're paid. It's like, um, they're paid for God, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Right. Mm. Is there a lot of drugs in the jails in Dublin then? Yeah. Yeah. Well, is it, you got the spice issue in there as well. No, oh, not really spice. out there, like, so it's obviously mainly in there be, like, heroin. The only drugs out there was, like, smoking weed and poly, like, I don't really do, like, a few sleeping tablets. Maybe, like, D5s or something. I was never big in it, but you can get whatever you want in there. Sorry, you can get um, <laughs> it's like a shop. Like, you want to buy a fifty bag of fucking weed, you can buy it. You want to buy this, you can buy it. Like, you know what I mean? Really, Just get the money. You can get whatever you want in there. Well, when I was there, you could. You know, know what I mean? There's fucking you know five hundred uh, drug dealers in, a, in a one building. Someone's selling drugs. <laughs> you know how they get? How do they get the drugs in? Visits, fucking obviously people like corrupt guards like over the net. The, there's the, the big one. Put it up your ass. Yeah, boom. Yeah. Kinder egg. Yeah. You're, talk, you're talking. <laughs> you like to... that? Yeah, what? Straight, kinder egg. You know the toy in a kinder egg? I've never done it in a kinder egg
You had the squat. Did you make a squat naked? Nah, no. Well, I don't know about jail. I'm, I've never been to jail, so I wouldn't know. But I'm talking about to a yeah, festival. Yeah, but even at a festival, bro, if that dog sniffs you, they'll have you in, in the room <laughs> squatting, mate. I've done. I've talked to the old guy over the visit before, and I, I couldn't. I can't plug in. I put on me foreskin. <laughs> he has the pleasure. Kinder egg. Yeah. Kinder egg and me foreskin. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I got away with it. Not able to do that. <laughs> yeah, they're like, what's that? Like, oh, no, that's just, he's just blessed. Because <laughs> like, when you take every clothes, the first thing you do is just cover your dick. You know what I mean? You don't want to stand there naked in front of six fucking prison officers. So it's, I have a pinched up me foreskin. Squat. Well, two ounces right, is enough. Just fucking a couple of hundred tablets and a fucking little kinder. You know the kinder eggs and the little yeah. toy inside that thing. Yeah, that's not fitting Boom. in my foreskin, though. Nah. <laughs> you're not me so but uh, that's what I used to it because I couldn't plug in so couldn't how long have you been out of jail for now I'm out a while now I'm fucking well I'm 33 now and a toured so I think I'm gonna get out on a 26 or something maybe have you Mom? been in any fights or any altercations since you've come out of jail I've been in hundreds of fights yeah like loads of fights <laughs> Really? Just, what's, the, what's the maddest fight you've been in since you come out? Just nothing like a fight to fight, like, you know what I mean? Fights happen all the time, like, oh, Dublin's a mad spot. But, so um, say Dublin's a bit different. No, but then, like, just tell me things that have stood out to you, like, you must have had fights where you're like, fuck, this really is getting out of control. What, the, what like, describe fights, like? I mean, I'll hey. tell you one, I went, I went on holiday to, uh, uh, where was it? Zanti when I was 17 and there was a guy beating up a girl at the bottom of the street and obviously I shouted out. I said, leave her the fuck alone. So they walked up. It was like three or four of them and they were like 25 years old. I was only 16 at this time, 17. And I hit one of them and I fucking knocked him out and then I picked up another one and took him to the ground and as I hit him, I dislocated my shoulder. So I ran back in. My mates ran out. I popped my shoulder back in, come back out. Obviously, my arm's like this. And all my mates are knocked out and all the guys back up. And I was like, oh, fuck. So I run into my room, yeah, and I managed to get in and, like, close the door and my, I wake my other mates up that were in my room because it was, like, it was a big hotel and I ran in. And I was like, boys, 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 wait. And then as soon as I said that, they fucking boot through the door. And... Straight away, my mate gets up. He's fighting this guy. I get rugby tackled to the, the ground, hit into this glass uh, wall. And um, we're just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I get bottled. And it's just getting out of control. My mate ends up breaking his fucking jaw in the middle of this fight. Um, and then the hotel manager comes into our room and manages to stop it all. He... This is going to sound mad. You probably won't believe me, but he pulls out a gun and he says to the guy, he's like, do you want me to shoot him to, uh, to us? Do you want me to shoot him? And we're like, no. He shoots the gun. He's pointing at his head, shoots the gun, and it's a blank. And he says, next time you lot fucking come back in here, it's not going to be a blank. And it turns out that the hotel that we were staying at was run by a mafia. <laughs> so um, I packed up my bags and I literally left straight away. The <laughs> boys never spoke to me again. Yeah, I would have left as well. Who hey, were your mates? Yeah. <laughs> I felt bad, but like I'm not going to sit there and watch a guy get beaten by by uh, girl, a girl maybe. get beaten by a bunch of guys. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's fair. Um, but yeah, since then my shoulder keeps popping out. When how old were you then? Sixteen, seventeen. Did you only have like ninety tattoos at that age, or <laughs> how, how were you looking? I was still like I still had a fair few tattoos, but mate, I was skinny. Only you started like proper weightlifting at like nineteen. When did you get big? Well, 20... When are you gonna get big? That's yeah, like, just, like, sorry, man. <laughs> um, I probably I did my first like bodybuilding comp at like twenty one. But I'm a lot smaller now. I used to be a lot bigger. I did the uh, like North England Championships, won that. East England Championships, won that. But it's, Flex. it's 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 boring, mate. Like I'm in my fucking little mankini, yeah. uh, flexing. It's like it's... I guess you think a bit different now. You're forty five, so it would be a bit <laughs> of a different story. Yeah. <laughs> So um, that's what I mean. Like, you've had, have you had any crazy fights where? Wait, wait, wait. Do we need to pay for this or? Oh, <laughs> you're gonna start charging. Yeah. Oh, stuff. Hey, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sweating now. There's been a lot of fights. Like I've been in tank with fucking hammers. 
Baseball bats, mace, right, 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 right. stuff like that, like, you know? Wait, Win, yeah. lose, or draw, it's only a fight, you know what I mean? No, well, it's not when you get attacked with hammers. What? Where do you get attacked with a hammer? In Dublin ages ago, like, just fight, you're fighting with lots of people, like, you know what I mean? You're fucking arguing so would you not there. meet up with a bunch of lads and go nah, looking for just a fight? Nah, you're just walking down the road and two cars jump out full of lads, like, fucking tailed up, like, what are you going to do, like? Why? T- All right, so here's a good question. Drug How- wars, like fucking territorial wars, like like feuds, stuff like this. Bro, have you never seen that? Shit, ha- shit happens. happens Dublin's a small place with a lot of people. There's only so much like ter- like territory, you know what I mean? Mm. Stuff. You should... um. And if you hit, you hit back, so you know what I mean? Talk- talking about... Sorry, am I on your leg there? Yeah, that's all right, mate. Oh, you like I'll that, don't you? Later. Yeah. <laughs> um, talking about tools, you should show... Um, You've got a video to show Sean, haven't you? Oh yeah, yeah. let's see his reaction. Yeah, definitely. What, what is this, mate? Before I agree to watch this, you have no choice, bro. Like, hold on, like it's an option. Hold on, hey, don't, <laughs> there's no option, bro. What is this video? It's a delightful video. What is it on? Um, his what phone. website? It's on my grinder account. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna have a drink for this. You might want to finish it. <clears throat> I don't know. Hold on, see how we get it. Oh, no, no. I can't find it. I can't find it. I just can't get on the internet. You can't Bad get on the signal. internet? Yeah. Do it on Swan's Give me phone. Give your phone. Oh, fucking hell, mate. You're going to find all these weird searches in yeah. there and I start looking yeah. through that. Don't look at my searches. <laughs> yeah. kind of the search kind of woman midget please porn and all that. Yeah. Oh, God, come on. There you go. Yeah, don't, don't look this at what he's gonna searching. Like, this, is this going to... Don't look at what he's searching. Six. It better not be bad, mate. No, no, no. It's him. All right, so about to see my... Experience the exciting new community <laughs> where you can sample the goods and the Wait goods for it to say skip ads. Oh. Find Let's see then. Hold on. What were you? What? <laughs> Listen. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> nah, mate. You like, turn swing that like this way. Swing that like this way. <laughs> Look at this thing, mate. No, listen, oh. listen, listen. Two hammers, mate. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so, you find that pleasurable? It doesn't horror me, like, you know what I mean? Some of you, like, obviously, when I do a West Cart, and so some clients would, not with a hammer, one likes to hit with a fly swatter. Hit yeah. your willy. Yeah. So, yeah, for, for context, there was, there was part of him and a hammer. <laughs> you, do, you do the maths. It's very, very interesting content you make there. <laughs> Some people are into that stuff, yeah. I've used bigger hammers than that, to be fair. I've used a sledgehammer, but not as hard, like, you know what I mean? I don't... People like that. People pay for that. It's people pay for sex. Everyone pays What's for sex. What's the weirdest, like, the thing people, someone's asked you to do that you've... I have a client before, like, he's, he pretends to be a dog. So I meet him in a hotel room, he has a cage, and I'll sell him in the corner. And he's a dog, so I walk in. He'll, <laughs> he'll walk around his hands and knees. I'll play fetch with a dildo, and he'll come back and I'll pet him on the head. And I'm like, "Good boy." And I lock him in the cage. I go down and have a smoke. I only do that just to waste the time, to be fair. Um, and then like, no dog wants to have a. This is his main, main part of the meat is this part, this fetish. No dogs want to have a bat, so I have to drag him in the hotel room. Get him. The bat's already full, and then I have to force drown them. And then that's where he gets Force off. drown him? Yeah, because he's trying to get him in the bath and he's trying to get out. But I have to hold the ball. Hold the ball. Like. And that's how you end yeah. up in prison again. No, because he had a position where I, I don't know when to stop. Like, but, not, but this is what he wants. Like, you know what I mean? So, yeah, you're trying to get him in and then he's running around the fucking new bark. And, and then, like, I'm saying it's over, he'll jump up and he's like, all right, thanks, mate. <laughs> Go back completely back to normal. Yeah, back to now. So, he's a good boy. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> and how much uh, does that set someone back? For them, the yokes, my rates could go from like 500 quid an hour to starting to could be a lot, depending on what they like, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And what, where do you, where, where do these clients find you or where do you find them? You can find me everywhere. I'm all over the place. But is there a site that you're on, like adult work or anything like that? It's not growing down on you. Are you sure? No, no. I'm on adult work. I'm on adult work. Um, a site called uh, Rent Man, Sleepy Boys. These are like gay escort sites. Obviously, I'm not gay, but I can. Yeah. 
like in fucking do or I think you know yeah, what I mean. I'm a dom, like I'm a, I'm a, like I'm a dom, like professional dom, like so I'll, like I'm, I can. People they worry. I have lads that will pay just to feel my arms. More like worship, worship muscles. Yeah, I get sniff it. me armpits. So I have people. Yeah, I'm a fella that is obsessed with feet. So I do. It's a half an hour of me. I see him every month when he gets his gyro. <laughs> <laughs> I know when he fucking gets it. I come on the day, and then he'll just lie down. He'll walk in and he'll jump straight in his hands and knees. And I'll just put my feet up there for 20 minutes. And then I'll just be on my phone. And then he'll be like, yeah, you'll be on your phone. Text your mates and I'll take photos of me. A few little kicks in the head. And then the last five minutes, he'll just put my socks on. Kiss me feet with socks on. And then I go, 250. See you later. So I have an ass. <laughs> yeah, he's all, it's like that's But that's like people are weird. Like. And so in one case, there was a fella stood against the wall and I had to throw darts and his, had it in his arse. Like, no, what? Ah. I didn't like that because I don't like blood, like you know what I mean. I don't like it. Really, I'd, I'd rather do that than have someone fucking around my feet or Oi. sniffing my armpits and that. Because it's for me, like the dart, I'd, 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 I'd do that. Yeah, but you're free. causing some pain. <laughs> if anyone thing. wants that done, hit me. Yeah, up. but you say that, but when you're doing that, and it's like, oh, and there's fucking blood, and it's feeling bad for him and that. <laughs> it's like twenty-two holes in his fucking arse, like you know what I mean. Blood oh, coming oh, out of every one of them. Which one do you use then? Oh, the twenty-two. The holes. one in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> What do you get if you get it in the one in the middle? Is it a bonus or what? Uh, 180. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like, I don't know. Like, just like, every day, nothing shocks me. Like, everything shocks me because you think, I tell you that and you're like, whoa, what the fuck? Like, tomorrow we could get a message like, with, like something worse. Like, it, the world doesn't sleep. Like, you know what I mean? And then the more I build my porn career, the more weird I was to me. So request, like, I could, I, I went into my Twitter inbox, you'll see it's 100, it's 100 men every day. Hi. That fucking one line, Hi. Hi, that's all they text me, and then other ones is like. So these girls that you do collabs with, how do you meet them? What? How does that happen? Um, like networking. So I text them, or they would text me, or I could be shown for a company, and they the company hires the girl, and they hire me. We could meet like that, and then like we just I got a lot of content events. Like a good friend of mine, Andy Lee, he sets up these. He has a porn show he owns Stevenage, so he sets up these like. 20 fucking women porn stars and 20 males and we all go meet and, and just shoot like, like a couple of films a day like like so on them porn events like people will go just for content so there'll be a girl that will do six scenes or what you could do five and i've have done like five or six scenes like in a couple of hours just to get the content what, five scenes you come all five times Mate, the last time i come but there's fuck all there like you're like scraping it out like there's not <laughs> much there like you know the first one's like the first That's one's always good all right, I, I get it now because obviously you're established, so you, you're in the mix, you're meeting the same people, you're you're about, you're known, you're getting messages on Twitter. But in your early days, I mean, how did you go about really getting getting out there? I just I was I t so I got into it. I started I done a show with a company in um, Sheffield. I was with three girls, and then it was just I, I was literally texting. It was a numbers game. I said I was texting like all the big names. I was only trying to shit with big girls like that had big following when I was starting out. But um, I just text like 10, 20 just a day, like, you know. I've got a massive and dick. That's it. You up for it or what? <laughs> I think my dick got me through most of it. Like, that would have got me through most of it. Like, cause Do you feel you, like you become like desensitized as you went through your career? Do you feel like, or have you just been a bit of a filthy cunt the whole time? I'm a dirty bastard, man, honestly. <laughs> I'm on a fucking... Yeah, sex has always been a big thing. Even before I done porn, I was swinging like for years, like back in even in Ireland. Like, yeah. Do you, do you feel like you could have like a what most people class as a normal relationship now? I've been in a normal relationship and so faithful. I didn't. No. Ask, didn't ask that question, but um, yeah, it's a normal relationship. So you've been in one that's faithful. no. When I was younger, when I was younger, no, I was never faithful. But I was in an LJ like so. I was then. I was just only out, so I was horny, like, you know. Sad to say, I was never faithful, but then, now, then, like, like, like last year, I was in a relationship, and me board let me do porn, so it wasn't a problem. I'm still, I'm still fucking about, like, you know what I mean? And now I'm with a porn star, and I can fuck who I want, so it doesn't really matter. Like. So, but, so body she, count like, doesn't matter to you? Nah. So what is the, so you, you're now in a, in a relationship with a girl and she She's, has sex with other people and you have sex with other people. Yeah. What's the difference between that and not being in a relationship with her at all? Well, so you go home to it at the end of the day. Yeah, we've cuddles and we go on seminar and all this and that. 
and I watch her videos getting fucked with her man and I'm you, so do you not <laughs> <laughs> I love it she has cards too. But that's great. what you, you found. You found the relationship that fits your life, mate, haven't you? So Perfect. That couldn't be any more better. Like, literally couldn't be better. Like. Not strong. that I want to fuck any other board, but like shit happens. Like, you know what I mean? Shit happens. It's like if she was out, say she went down, she was drinking somewhere and she's like, oh, this guy, come on to me. I'm like, Roy, send me the video. I don't care. You don't care <laughs> at all. Or you that enjoy bother it. me. Like, nah, you bother actually me. sort of like it, didn't you? Because you, you want to see her get Whatever. Some you, could be, you could put your whole life into some girl and never work out and she could be fucking your mate anyway. And you could be paranoid about it. You know what I mean? This is... We are in common. Yeah, he doesn't understand yeah. it. No, no, no. I, no. I don't because you, you don't have to think of everything in the worst light possible. I mean, she could just be faithful to you. Yeah, you but it's... Don't it's, need to think about her fucking someone else. No, but we enjoy that, it though. That's just what's going to happen. Like... It's, you're a happens. good looking lad you're out there for good looking women that's what you want you're gonna get one that good looking women's good looking women's gonna get good looking men chasing her so you're a competition like you know what I mean why would you just say just fuck who you want just at least come back to you what's the difference you're gonna get yeah, a bigger that, dick than you that is, don't have that problem that is loyalty that is loyalty but it's just what you've accepted do you know yeah. what I mean it's, it's what you're it literally, with. me and with the, my girlfriend now like it's great it's a great relationship you know, never, we never fight we're always satisfied we're getting for fucking How long sex you all the time. Only f- like a few months now, like, like not exclusive on and off, but now it's, yeah, we've turned it up a notch now. We discovered anal. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the, the thing is, what would the most arguments come from? And it's about like jealousy and, and all the rest of it, isn't it? Whereas what That's you've it. done is you've took that whole factor out of the relationship, haven't you? There is no je- jealousy. Like All my mates is like, I was fine with the board. Oh, I had to be home early. I can't go out. I'm a bar. I've done barbering for seven years. I've caught like fucking 10,000 heads and it's the same show you with the same fucking people. It's like, oh, I can't go. I had to collect me boards, ma. I have to do this. Me boards wrecking me head. And they're all complaining about their boards. You know what I mean? And it's their wife or whatever it is. And I just don't want to be, yeah. I don't want to be that guy. Then I have 70 year old men. And like, I was like, oh, how are you? Oh, it's been very bad. My wife died last year, and it's just been me and me in the house. My son's in Australia. So even if you get the right girl and have a perfect relationship, which you won't, because you'll always fight. There's never a perfect relationship. You won't die all alone. She could well die before. You're still gonna die on your own. So why put yourself through ten years of fucking torture rather than just being single and fucking who you want and doing what you want? Can I ask you a question then? Where do you draw the line? Like, do you, if if you if you are out with your bird and you go and meet one of your mates and your mates are like. Fucking, I'd love to have a go on your bird. Is it like, nah, that's my mate, or, or is Not it like, fucking cool. let's go up to the hotel? <laughs> I've been in a nightclub and I tell me, board, go pick the nicest man on the dance floor and meet me up in the room. We'll have a threesome. I'll be up there. I'll be up there. Up there. That's Jesus it. Like that. Come in. <laughs> Literally, yeah. That's that wouldn't bother me. Like, you know what I mean? Once I'm there, like, it's a fun night. It's a great. Oh, week. okay. So long as you're there. Yeah. Okay, what if you no, want with be. the board I'm with now? She she was a lesbian, but yes, she likes women, so she shocks me. But like, fucking, oh, come in here, fuck me, mate, with me. But what, what if I mean? you're not there? Surprise, are you still all right with it? What I mean, like, a Don't video me. I could watch, that's fine. If it doesn't, just don't do a video. I'm most likely gonna be fucking someone somewhere else at the time if I'm not there. There's a good reason I'm not with me, board. fucking someone else <laughs> on the night. Mm. Do you get me? You're so it works both ways, like. In the case of I wasn't, I was at home alone and she was fucking someone else. So what? Like, I'm going to be fucking her tomorrow or next day. Yeah, see, no. It's just sex. I'll rate your mentality, mate. It's just sex, The problem is, is a lot of guys, they want to do what you do, but then they want their bird to be at home. Yeah, most of these lads are only with their women, not because they love them, because it's convenience. They have a joint mortgage or they live together. It's kids. You know what I mean? That's all. You don't want to be there. Your mates are in a beat there and you're sitting here wrapped around your fucking board watching Cardi. You don't want to be there. You want to be in a beat there. You can't. Most men can't leave their wife and kids to fuck off. Do you know what I mean? That's true. I'm just not about that. Like, I'm living my life. <laughs> what's what's the most girls you had sex with in one day? 24 yeah. hour period. And if it's the can't be our board twice, you know what I mean? It has to be with different girls. Probably about seven or eight, but not... Seven or eight? Yeah, not normal <laughs> girls. Brasses, obviously, bro. Do you know what I mean? But it's like eight window shopping in, in 24 the hours. Yeah, yeah. Like, but, bro, I've, I've had one time, right? So this is a funny story. We've come back, me and my pal, and we've been up, and it's like three in the morning now. We come back from somewhere in London. Other mates dropped us off. My mate's like, listen, he's like, I need to get some stuff out of my office. And we went, um, so he's got an office in an office block, 
we've went into the offices, like a Regis block of offices, about three in the morning. Then we've started getting at it in the um, in the office, like drinking and all the rest of it. Then we've got, we've got them round, mate. One set come round, another one in, out, like that. 30, 45 minutes. You know, it's pay for an hour, but you never get an hour. So they're coming in, one set, out another set, in one set, all the way until there's... There's a full blown, because in the Regis offices, you get like one <coughs> little office cubicle and someone might take half a floor. Bro, I'm telling you, it was about half 10 in the morning, me and him were sitting in there absolutely wrecked, mate. They're still coming in and out. In and out, brother. Fully, fully functioning office. <laughs> Through the door, up in the elevator, into the office, and that's it, rattling in the office, mate. Who's paying for them? Yeah, yeah, me at that time, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was doing well, really well. It was when I first started making a lot of money and that was, I was at that time, I had a bit of a touch and I was making a lot of money, mate. And it was two girls you were getting each I was, time? I was paying for the pair of us, yeah. So there was two. And one two, hour each? Yeah, How two much? like that. Two, brother, I spent thousands that night, literally spent thousands. So, was yeah. it fun? Yeah, it was banging, mate. I'm just going <laughs> to tell you about it now. <clears throat> fun stories, mate, innit? it? As, as a young, young, young like, mid-20-year-old boy, like, Having fun, like what's the most good life? What's Me? the most you've had in one day? One. Whoa, I'm a good man. Can we crop in in his face when he looks to the side there? Just make sure I'm a, you... I'm a man of God. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. One well, lady. Well, okay. We'll keep the truth to us three. Then we will leave the bullshit to him. Yeah, you're not gonna believe my hands over Italian anyway. If we're, oh, I mean, I'm gonna exclude like orgies and gangbangs and stuff because that's just long. Uh, if we're talking just singular women, probably around. Six to seven as well. Six to seven women? Yeah. In a day? Yeah. Bro, one, how are you able to bus seven times in a day? Well, I, first of all, I can. But on that occasion, I actually, <coughs> I actually pretended to, to come with one of them. And how do you get hard if you've had sex with seven different Bro, girls? just head makes it go up. You have uh, to get dirty of each mate, girl. I'll get bored, mate. No, I'm not. I'm not it's going for hours of each seven, one. Seven different birds in in a day. Well, the, the, nah, it depends what you're up to, though, isn't it? Like, and the last girl knew knew that I'd been with them. She wanted to be last. You don't have to bust each time that when you were yeah. saying, like, my, my, you'll hear my name. It sounds like, it sounds like that you're just story doing I just told you, I didn't bust once. That's why they yeah. keep coming. If, if I nutted, I'd probably be, I'd have been like, why the fuck have I spent all this dough? Do you know what I mean? Oh, no, I finished. I was with 22 <laughs> women in one night. 22? Yeah, at a swingers party. And I didn't come once. I think I went home and had a wank. But that, <laughs> that's my record. It was 22 women in one night in four hours or six hours or something. What the fuck? But then I've been to swingers parties, hundreds of them. Like, before that, and it would be like, 15, like 17. I think I got a 20 before it, which was nearly, was nearly better. Just, why don't you just line them up, bro? And then just in, out, in, out, in, out and do 23. What is he That's about it, to that, do? That, is there was one real about in, to eat Pringles? I just have one Pringles. Sorry, I'm standing. He's <laughs> just eating. He's yeah. finishing your Pringles. He's telling us about fucking 22 birds. About That's me record Pringles. is 20 till, yeah. <laughs> it's a... Uh, so And I didn't call me in months. I, just, I literally didn't call months. So what are you doing? Is it just... just... <laughs> He's upset. He's like, if you don't finish, there's no point. You're not doing it. To, you're not getting pleasure to do it. You're just you're fuck, but you're fucking bored. Like, how are you not getting pleasure? You're not, you're you're not coming. Boy, you you're just have, doing yeah, it. it feels good, yeah, mate, You're, you're just time. doing it for the sake of doing it, mate. But you're yeah. just having you're doing sex. it because you think, yeah, you've got a good story to come out of it and it's oh. fun and cool. Chasing the nut, yeah. mate. But you're just you're having just sex. Because when you have sex, you're just doing it for your needs. I'm doing it so your needs. Pleasure myself. Yeah, but it's not one man. It's not a one man band. There's two people there. What about the other girl? What about the girl? Wait, wait. who said she ain't getting pleasure? It's like, a bit more than a one man band when you're doing 22 and all, mate. You got yeah. an orchestra there, isn't he? <laughs> it's giving out donations. violins and everything, mate. <laughs> Some of these swinger parties are mad. There's like six women on a, on, a, on a bed, like and like three men. And you're just swapping and changing. You know what I mean? And you're getting dragged I in need the to realms. See one of these swingers. Oh, you need. I'll bring you to one. Hundred <laughs> percent. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe I'll have sex with more than one girl in a day. <laughs> oh yeah, let's let's make that. You had to do one in front time. of a lot of people though, to be fair. You what? Like there's a lot of people watching, none of it. So do there's people... private homes you can go into, but so no how does it work? How do you know if a girl wants to He ask you, do you want to play? Your husband will ask you, will you come fuck me wife? Yeah. And when, when you go to the swingers party, you have to dress down. So when you arrive, you give your name and then you strip down to your boxers. Or in some cases naked. I get me boxers. Yeah, I bet, yeah, you I bet you're mate. trying to get naked as quick as possible, isn't it? I always say, even when I do the naked, 
when I work as the Nike Butlers, like, so you're only allowed to wear flip flops and uh, the tray, fucking cufflinks. I take a Viagra, so I'm, I'm on a semi for the whole party and then I'm getting the attention. So by the time I finish my shift, I have a list that I'm ready to go. Like, yeah. Mainly like that. When you get a hard on, do you find it hard to think? All the blood's flown. It takes me, I have to sit down. It takes me a while to get fully hard, like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Do you yeah. struggle with that then? No. Unless you take a Viagra. I can fuck a board in the flop and still satisfy, to be honest with you. But, I, <laughs> <laughs> literally. But um, when I take a Viagra, yeah, um, yeah, I get the head rush, but it takes a while, like, you know what I mean? It's a grower and a shower. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, do you, so have you ever like had a scene where you just couldn't get it, couldn't get it working? Yeah, in some cases, like, well, you just black it out. You could do like soft car, pretend it's in, like, like all that thing. Pretend it's in. Yeah, you can do like. It depends on like what the scene's for. Like, if it's for a company, it has to be penetration. But like, if you're blagging it for a little content, like for an OnlyFans thing or something. Yeah, do you know what I mean. Um. But no, it always works. I have a very mutual, great understanding with me, Dick, where we become one. <laughs> you know what? I feel like a lot of guys, like, they overthink things. And that's when it, like, fucks up, when you start overthinking it. What are you pointing at me for? That's you, bro. No, that's a lot of guys, mate. They overthink but it, No, it. no, but it's also you. Also me as well. Okay. I've had that before, where I overthink it and I'm like... Leave the Pringles alone. Look over the Pringles and let me drink. Um, I've, sometimes <laughs> when I've done a, like... Like to say that, like when I was forced going into it, like ten people, like saying you're just, like sometimes it, you wouldn't get hired for a while, but eventually you get it. Ten people. Like say ten people behind you, like Mike, you have the sound, the, card, the, the cardiographer, the director, the, the assistant director. So when, I'm, when I have sex doing a movie, there's at least eight people behind me. Oh my and God. if it's in, if it's not in a studio, it's in a small Airbnb, which is so it's cramped. And do they have studio like on someone... doggy? There's a fella coming between your legs, getting close ups. You know what I mean? <laughs> do they have someone that like? I heard there's a. Something called a fluffer. Fluffer, yeah. And they is just what is that? Just a girl that's there just to keep Get you back hard. hard for the film. Well, if you're if I do a scene with a girl, say it's a forty minute anal scene, and you take a break, and I'm about to getting soft, you can't expect her to help me get hard because you just got fucked up the arse for forty minutes. So they get the fluffer. So the director's like, "Oh, get him ready," and she'll like, for an hour. Wow. Yeah, you know, you know those fluffers as well. They make extra income by filming being a fluffer and posting it. Yeah, but then the fluffers there and then they're getting tagged with the two porn stars that are working. So they're on their Instagram. They're going on the company's page. They're on their Twitter. So they're getting <laughs> so publicity imagine, as well. Like, I'm you know just what I mean? imagining like they're bragging, oh, I was in this porn video with this, with these people, blah, blah. And like, oh, will you start? Oh, yeah, I was the fluffer. Some oh, of the fluffers oh. I'd, I'd avoid POV is like, so say I'm, they were saying that I'm taking a break, I'd get my phone out and then I'd just get Ricardo sucking my dick for a little, like sitting here in the sofa, getting ready, keeping me hard for the next scene and record it. <laughs> and we just had the video on it. And then... Yeah, I know. I know guys where they where they they let their their wives or girlfriends be the fluffer in these videos. Nothing wrong with being a fluffer. So I never was one. Now I don't mind them. So your relationship now? Do you it's great. Yeah. Do you want to see me bored? <laughs> you showed me a. No, this is a different one. Oh, I did show you, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the same one. <laughs> yeah, it's the same one. Yeah. Um, do you? Uh, is this what you want like when you're older as well you'll be comfortable with her sleeping with other yeah, people yeah but she's not like I'm 33 now I'm not going to look like this forever so when I smash the porn industry which I will and I am down I'm going to make a lot of money out of it eventually you know what I mean I'll, I'll make me millions and then I won't, I won't, I'll be in a position where I won't have to do porn but I probably still will do it but when I get to 40, 50 I'm not going to look like this so but then I'm going to be quids in like so I'll, I can take a step back yeah. And then I'll enjoy me life, you know what I mean? And then I'm still with this board that I'm with now. She's not going to be doing escort and a fucking, or, or like, pawn a 40. But we would have made our money by then, so I'll be on a fucking beach in Bali. I won't bother me, you know what I mean? Yeah. So you don't want to do this long term? Like, you I don't know. mind, like, I'll, I'll do it for as long as I can, like, you know what I mean? As long as I can have sex, I'll be down on, on a camera. As long as I can have a wank, I'll be down on a camera, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> and it doesn't matter. And all, all, the, all my fans, they love that all their, like, the dads, you know what I mean? So the older I get, the better it is for me, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's but just a new market. It just kind of lose, like, me shape. Like, I, can't, I won't be having, like, six pack of fucking 40. I just probably do, could do, but... Just do glory hole scenes, bro. You'll be fine. What's the weirdest scene that you think you've uh, you ever had to to film? I've done a scene where I stuck a throw glory hole and um, there was uh, a lad on the board there and I had to guess who was sucking the dick. <laughs> it was like... <laughs> 
Did you, like guess, that? did you guess correctly? <laughs> Fuck yeah. yeah it was no. the stubble that gave it away. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so the guys knocked <laughs> you off then, yeah. Yeah, couldn't say it though. Did I it feel, which one felt better? It's a blow job, it's a blow job. You know what I mean? None of, no, no one ever gets I a right. I don't agree with no that. No one mate. ever gets a right because you always sit here and you be like, oh, I met this board last night, get the best head ever. Six months later or two months later, it's the same story. Oh, I was with this board, you best head ever. It always changes. It's, it's a blow job, it's a blow job. If it's nice, it's nice. It's not, it's not. You know what I mean? Do trans, I don't come from blow jobs. Do the trans ones give the best blow We'll jobs? find out later, won't we? <laughs> <laughs> find out later. I don't know. They probably. That the one I done last time was it was it was just a blowjob, you know what I mean? Yeah, my, it doesn't matter. No one can deep throw me, so it, it doesn't matter. And then it's it's very wired, so no one ever. <laughs> it's 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 not great, like you know what no I mean? A lot of teeth scraping. I can't get to the end because mine slightly curves, so it's like when it's fully hard, it will dangle and go a bit. It's like a night tick. It goes to the left, like it's like a night tick lying down sideways. <laughs> Sponsor pending. Yeah, and um, so I had a girl, um. Gina Varney, who's like the deep throat queen, she's a porn star from Derby. She very got very close, but she had to come and then got, and then to the point of curve, she had to try and curl on her neck. It was about nine inches on her mouth at this stage. And then she had to try and curl back around, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> and she just kept trying, like, I'll give her time for effort, but she didn't get to the bottom, like, and yeah, she nearly suffocated. Nearly. <laughs> nearly. What, nearly. What happens when you're wearing, like, swimming shorts? Yeah. Does it ever, like, they're looking you see it there. No, oh, <laughs> does it ever like swing out in the middle of like when you're like swimming or something? I'm a cunt. Like? When I go on holiday, I'll just get like white shorts without boxers and I'll just go swimming and just because I'm that guy, I'll just have it like even when I'm in the gym, you know, when I go to the gym and I'm getting dressed, so I'll put my socks on and I get my t my muscle vest, my t shirt, and I'll put me like my jacket, my hat, my gloves, my scarf, then I'll put my boxers on. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think a lot of guys get jealous? When I go to gym, I'm not the biggest lad, but there's bodybuilders up there like benching fucking 300 and I'm like, I'll show that cunt the showers. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm, not, I'm not him and I do be fucking... Swoosh. Yeah. So I'm weird. When I, if I go into a cold, cold plunge, I'll get in a semi. Like I'll even show you, you can fill a glass of cold water, I'll stick my dick in it, it will come out hard. Oh, like a brick. It's like cold water. I'm like, wow. Makes cold you water back. makes... Yeah. I know, I know I had the cold. Oh, it's cold in here. And I, was, I get in the cold water, my dick shriveled up. Not me, mate. What's Makes the weirdest your... place you've had sex? On the bakery oil in Tesco. <laughs> <laughs> that was way too quick. He knew oh, as well, yeah. He knew that that was weird. <laughs> yeah, I think that was the weirdest the bakery place. bakery oil in Tesco. <laughs> she was like getting the fucking croissant and just like slipping in. Boom, 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 just boom. like that just like that casually doing it I love that any bagels <laughs> <laughs> and then we went that did you get in trouble didn't get caught we didn't even get caught I just slipped it in like and there was people going why like I just don't know how I done it like it was just it was like we were fucking people shopping you know like you know when someone comes up behind you no <laughs> Just, I was just thinking, people shopping limbo. I was going to get, get breakfast paid. with her. Just imagine the... going into Tesco. <laughs> she was trying to get your bread, mate. No, like I knew the girl. And half inches <laughs> slamming some birds. I knew the girl. We were fucking all night anyway. And then we went to Tesco to get some like, food and drinks. And I was just messing with her. Like, you know, in the lift on the way. And I was slapping her arse, pulling her tits out. And then, yeah, I just ended up slipping it in, like, in, on the bakery on in Tesco. How does it just slip in, mate? You got well, I just fucking put it in. Like, pulled that thing to the side. and a little scared. She's fucking reaching up for the thing. Because the more she reached, then her, she kind of leaned and the scare popped hot, up. I can't lie. No, I've never, I've never, I can if, say. If you're down the bakery aisle later like that. And it's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Any women need help? Where, where's, where's the Irish bull at, mate? <laughs> <laughs> well, is that what you're asking? Yeah. Well, where's the weirdest place you had sex? Um... The bed? <laughs> <laughs> weirdest place <laughs> so far. Uh... I had sex in uh, the pavilion in Brighton, like some park. I've had sex there. Yeah, that's probably the weirdest, weirdest place. I don't know. What about you? Yeah, so I said before on that other one about on the um, fucking blow up bed on the lake, didn't I? But recently there was, um, do you know where it's not the weirdest? It's just a toilet in it. But high Ibiza, they've got, has, it, has anyone been there? You've been into the, where they've got the DJ deck set up in the toilets? Yeah. And all of the toilet cubicles there. Perfect, isn't it, mate? No one can hear nothing, mate. Went in there. Yeah. 
but in a shift. I, I have actually got one. And I went. I was at a festival, and I was with my partner, and we went into one of the cubicles, and obviously I got on it, and I was there for about forty five minutes. <laughs> Trying to fucking stick it in because it was, I was fucked, mate. I was on pills, it wasn't working. But I was in there for 45 minutes trying to get it to work. Finally, managed to get it to work, and it was the most uncomfortable, boiling hot. It was like 30 degrees. Wouldn't recommend uh, a festival toilet as a perfect location to have sex. <laughs> if any of you have ever had that. Man, it fucking stinks, I've had sex man. in them before, but there's like smell of the smell horrible. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah it stank it? like shit, mate. That was a that was a good location. I'll what tell you, you what I would recommend, mate, is the disabled toilets, mate, because they've got the fucking railings, and they can if you sit on the toilet and the bird gets hold of the railings like that, mate. I'm telling you, if you've got a go, I can give you a good go, mate. <laughs> Honestly, I would definitely recommend that. You want to look into that one, boys? <laughs> oh, I got one. <coughs> a black cab, but the, the cab driver didn't know. Oh, um, no, I've done. I've got heads in a cab. Yeah, I've done a few of them little videos where you get the hair, you get the head, and then you zoom like in taxi. the hours. Like, not like, this is just like private content. Like, girls suck me out in the taxi. I mean, with a card, and the taxi driver never knows. Like, I was most of them are on the phone, and anyway, when you get them, they have the earpiece in or on the phone, they're paying wife. attention to the roads. Yeah. Yeah, what about you? I've, oh, bro, I've had a lot of sex. I don't know about the weirdest. One, one that stands out to me is, uh, was in um, London Aquarium. London Aquarium. London Aquarium. Yeah, what well, you got in there, so, mate? With the fishes. Yeah, bro. I was fucked a fucked jellyfish a mermaid, or something, bro. <laughs> yeah, no, but seahorse. So, yeah, so <laughs> so like there's a there's a massive like pane of glass and all the fish are there, yeah, and then everyone's just walking past, and then I got her. To, she was sitting down, and I was like looking, and I was just like, I was just just suck my dick. So what, in the middle of the aquarium. In the middle of the aquarium. Definitely. Well, you're not going to get kicked out of that, mate. We didn't get caught. So my back was to the camera. That's the first thing you look for. So my back was to the camera and she was just sitting here. Drop people, keys. People are walking past and I'm just like admiring the fishes whilst getting a blowjob. Has anyone had sex in a cinema? Yeah. yeah. How do you do that? Stick it in. <laughs> <laughs> Same as you do it down the fucking bakery, <laughs> old mate. you have sex? <laughs> No, no, how do you do it and not get caught? It's at the front, I don't know, at the very front, I was getting hair for ages and then I just... In the front? On the very front, because everyone sits at the back in the picture, no one goes to the front, oil. You're a psycho, bro. Yeah, but the then front. when you get so close, you're at the front, and then you they get so... They have a camera. What? They have a camera. Well, they're in for a free show. <laughs> they're not going to check, they're not going to think anyone's having sex. That's like, the Irish boat, oh, fuck. <laughs> this is years ago, but right at the front, because the front seats are blocking, and then you're kind of halfway under the seat. And that was it, like... There's only kids, like, you're sneaking into the pictures. No, I've only ever done it in the back. Mostly blowjobs, but I've had sex a couple of times. Well, when I do one, I want to enjoy it. So, like, even sex in the toilet, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even bother. I'd rather have it in a bed, like, you know? Yeah, and no, the bed's the best, the place. best place. That's why it's a fucking bed, isn't it? Sofa's you know what obviously I mean? whatever. Two stains on this one, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um, what's the most you've earned off one shoot? So, the shoots, like, if I'm shooting mainstream, you get paid for the content. But then, if I shot, like, a film like this film later, I'm going to do, I'm going to sell that on my me, on me platform. So, like it's what's the difference so how much would you get off a professional shoot and how much you reckon you could get off a well, the shoot on Monday I have to fuck aboard twice for two scenes I guess 700 quid how for the, the day well like 9 until 5 9 to 5 so why, isn't it? Quid. yeah and then on OnlyFans I think I've sold a video that would have made over like a thousand maybe fifteen hundred dollars like over the night, like you put it for sale, and the next day, like the amount of people would have bought it, depending so, on what the video is, so like what, you know what I mean. I know, like some, I know, like stars, like and some of my mates, they fucking sell a video for up to ten grand. You know what I mean? Like so ten what, what the More about, fans you had, the more people are gonna buy. Yeah, you know no, I mean? no, no, I know, I know. What about that. escorting though, what's the most you've made? Oh Jesus, man, I've made a few Bob escorting, like um. So many different people that like so like some of my weirdest clients are the richest like so I have a fella that will pay me like four fifty an hour to talk to him just sits there and talks to me. That's it's a literally. regular thing though. Yeah, so I think that's really it's more of a comfort thing, you know what I mean? And then like, so what, does he, what does he talk to you about? Everything mainly is his dead wife and stuff like that. Like he's uh, he's widowed like, and then, that's and then he's fighting a, a sexuality that's a sweet thing to do, you know? Yeah, but he's, he's talking he, about your dead wife to. Him. <laughs> I know, yeah. Talk, yeah let's call it. Why, is he, why is he hiring someone with a Pringle can dick to talk about his dead wife? 
<laughs> so like uh, on the meets, he'd ask to see it. Like you know what I mean? Oh, can I see it and all? And then I think the most it's... recent week, I get my wine show. So we'd sit there and I'd be in the corner wanking, and he'd watch. And then I get the recorder sometimes. So it's how does the convo of his dead wife come up? You know, that's like he's ta- that's what he always talks. Oh, my wife never knows. Always fighting me sexuality. Well, she's gone now. Now I want to experiment. I want to live my life. I'm like, well, man, you're fucking fair. 66. Like, your life's fucking coming okay, up to an end. Hell, yeah. He's just, been hiding it for all his life. That must be tough, man. If, like, you're gay and you've hid it your whole life because you're married. Uh, well, I'd had, like, so, some, some, another client of mine, he's like, he's like, he's a Muslim man. He had an arranged marriage and he's he's been gay since he's 15. He has five kids. Hates his life. Wants to die every day. <laughs> God. Strung out on crystal meth, coke. He does discreetly does drugs because he hates his life, and he all he wants to do is like be gay, like but he can't because he'd be like family business and he makes so much money. And if he does, he'd be the sound. Like you he know does I mean? crystal meth. He does fucking like he's, he has a serious drug habit to hide the fact like to to balance out the fact that he's gay, but has to go home to a wife every day that he hates. That's crazy. There's rare kids that he doesn't want to live a life he doesn't want to be there. You know what I mean? That's so mad. What's it like for you? Yeah. Yeah, it's horrible, man. Yeah. yeah. One day. One day what? Coming for you, mate. You're coming for me? Nah, I'm going coming for the Pringles can over here, mate. The I'll have the ass for me. me. <laughs> 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 no, so, mate, these are mad interesting. I mean, have you got any other crazy ones that you've, you've, these clients seem, seem, seems really tough to actually hear and listen to. Do you ever <laughs> get girl clients? Yeah, loads of times. But no, but for for or not for shoots and that. Like no, for sure. Yes, Corns. Yeah. yeah, look, I had one last week in Liverpool. The husband rang me. He's like, I want you to fuck my wife. And I'm like, yeah, sound. I'll show you now about 10 messages here if they pay me. So he dropped her Timmy Gaff. And he came up and he's like, uh, grand, it was 350 for the hour. And I was like, so I was expected to watch her join in. He's like, I'm just going to go and get McDonald's. I'll be back in an hour. And he left her and she was a like, fucking solid eh? Yeah. Um, and then like every day, I'll show you. I'll get messages every day. He's like, <laughs> Do you have a, like, a get a really ugly one? Like, have you had any ones that come in and you're like, hmm, don't know about this one? I'd still fuck them. You doesn't bother would. me. Sex is sex. I oh, enjoy having sex. Doesn't sure matter, like, the grannies, doesn't they? matter, like, I, show, I work for a mature company. They're over fucking 60. Um, it doesn't bother me. Sex is sex, like, even if they're huge, like, even if they roll over twice and they're still on top of you in bed. <laughs> 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 oh. It still wouldn't bother me, like, you know what I mean? It's just... <laughs> Roll over twice, honest. <laughs> <laughs> you so you never said no to a bird. I'm like Jesus. Like I wouldn't seek. Sorry, if I was if it was the last resort on the board and I had to get her. Yeah, like I seek that, so I wouldn't. But there has been times girls would have come on to me, and I'm like, man, that wasn't for me. You know what I mean? But then again, if that same game girl come on to me, and I was in I was in a horny mood, I take her arm off. You know what I mean? Or she had three fifty in her pocket. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> But now I don't give it away for free. I don't fuck outside of work. I don't like I was out clubbing in Liverpool and I clicked the board. I wouldn't fuck. I'd charge her. You know what I mean? I'd bring her home and I'd say, right, pay me. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't support myself in that. First like of all, I had to be tested all the time. So the risk of me getting an STD, it's not massive, but it, it's a risk if I'm fucking outside of work. Because all the girls I work with are tested. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like because of the size of his penis, more like women are more likely to be inclined to be like, yeah, I'll pay you. 100 quid to fuck me. Like, it's 350 This pounds. is, look at, this is message I got the other day. It's like, hi mate, hey, do you remember me? You fucked my wife twice. <laughs> Read that. This is a daily thing for me, honestly. Do you think he sent photos of his wife on there? <laughs> That's fucking crazy. And then he just, he's booking me again. He's like, hey, look, um, and he was so. Wait, this, so you fucked his wife? Just yeah, he yeah. He, fucked, book, he booked you. He in. booked me this like last year, and then he come up and then he watched me on the sofa. But now he's trying to book me. He's like, "Can I lick her pussy as you stick it in?" <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you wear a condom when you do this? Or well, me clients, yeah. Like obviously, I don't like so. I don't like. I do get some. I do have a few regular women clients, and I'd wear Johnny's with them all. But it's not all the time. Like, it, like. Are you not worried? No, I do wear. I wear them. No, you're not worried. What, have I got worried? Yeah, like if you're not using a condom in the escorting business. I would. I would never. Uh, I would never not use a condom. Like I'd always use them when I'm fucking girls that aren't in the industry. They don't have a certificate. I wouldn't like a sexual health care. I wouldn't fuck them with a Johnny. I would. 
Yeah, so if yeah. people at home that don't know, when you get a certificate from these places, they're normally like same day or day before. The entry, everyone yeah, knows the entry. But like most people that get an STD test, it could be like two weeks, three weeks, a month before, and then you get the results. But within that time frame, they could have done the most. Do you so. know what my first ever condom was? And I really wanted to fuck this woman. I was only, I think, what age was it? I was just gone far down. And she had no condoms. She wanted to have sex. So I had to use a Tesco bag on a bobbin. <laughs> a Tesco bag and a what? A bobbin. You know, like a hair bobbin. <laughs> And put the Tesco bag on. <laughs> I bet you couldn't feel much through that though, innit? Oh. That must have been rough. She I, was, must have been I, I think it was like, I, I hadn't had much sex, like I was only a kid. Wait, wait, she why, was like, wait, when did you lose why your virginity? Did you do that? Because I had no condoms and she wouldn't let me fuck her without a condom. So that's why, why, why were you using a hat? A hat? A bobble, whatever you said. Oh, Bobbin. Keep the Tesco, keep bag, the Tesco bag on. Oh. You use a t Tesco bag and a hairband, mate. Oh, a hairband. Yeah. A bobbin, yeah, yeah. a bobble. I don't know what you use. A bobble was that's on called. top of a hat. That's why I was. No, 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 wait. So. When you said 14, <laughs> when did you lose your virginity? I think it was about 13 or 14. The dog fucked off. He wouldn't come in for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, I was, I, I, no, the first time I lost, I was 13. And I'll never forget the girl was 29, going through a marriage, a divorce at the time, a rough divorce. Right. And she said, oh, you have the biggest dick I've ever seen in my life, which shot me confidence through the roof. I was only a kid. And um, do, you, do you not... Feel like that was a bit weird for a twenty-nine-year-old to say to a fourteen. I felt it was great. Yeah, I felt it was fucking. We, we spoke about great. this before, mate. It's not as a boy. It's nah. not weird like that, is it? No, you tell your mates in the like... corner. They're like, "Oh, where does she live?" Or... <laughs> 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 Give yeah, us that number, they, like whatever. They like. Come in with your Pringle can, mate. She ain't gonna fuck see. Me. Women have a handy. You fl flip the situation there, and it happened the opposite way. Like it's it's. You know what I mean? So you lost your virginity. How did you meet this girl? <sighs> she was living around the local area. I don't even want to name her. I think she's still married to that fucking wanger. Um, yeah, she just seen me, like, you know what I mean? And one thing led to another. Wow. Ever since a young age, I've no problem getting where me. Did, where did you have sex with her? At her, her house. house. Yeah. I think her, in the day, I think her husband was in work at the time. She was going through a rough marriage, like, you know what I mean? She's coming up to 50s now. She was grooming me, I think. You think? I don't know. I couldn't give a fuck. Grill me again, love. Do you want me number? <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> Fucking doesn't bother me. Like, one of your kids just had sex. Right. So I think that that's going to wrap it up today. <laughs> yeah. it is, uh, it's been an interesting one. We've learned a lot. Um, I think there's a common trend of uh, people in the adult industry that a lot have happened to them at an underage time part in their life. Um, but yeah, it's been amazing having you on. We've learned a lot. Uh, now I'm really insecure about myself. I'm sure Sean is as well. <laughs> <laughs> make sure you like, subscribe. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. Do everything there. Comment who you want to see come on the podcast. And we're Please. out. Thank you, guys. Pleasure, lads. <laughs>